Umwelt und von Philipp. Now, to begin with the program, I would like to request Dr. J.S. Pandey, sir, to deliver welcome address. So, good morning to everyone. And uh, it's uh, my pleasure on behalf of our director, Dr. Rakesh Kumar, our entire institute, on behalf of Dr. Bodhe, my all colleagues sitting here for this uh, training program, which is uh, sponsored by Central Provision Control Board. So, we are giving that acknowledgement to the sponsor also. Uh, this institute, uh, I do not know how many of you are aware of it, comes under the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. Yesterday we had Hindi Samaro, so a Hindi translation of that would be by Gyanik M. Adyogi Kanusandhan Parishad. So, Niri, which is Rashtri Paryavaran Abhyantriki and Nusandhan, Sandhan falls under, comes under the ambit of Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, whose president is our Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister, and whose Vice President is our Minister for Science, Dr. Harshwarda. And then we have Director General, and then we have 38 uh, laboratories for which we have different directors. Our institute is the only government institution working on environment in our country. And uh, it has got its mandate in nutshell is to preserve, conserve, protect environment and mitigate pollution as much as possible in the following areas. Air, water, land, that is soil, and biodiversity and socio-economic protections are also associated. Actually, if we conserve air, water, and land, automatically biodiversity would be conserved, and then socio-economic welfare would be there. So we have various divisions which work on air pollution control, wastewater technology division, we have water management division. We have divisions for uh, soil, dealing with soil pollution, so we have solid and hazardous waste division which works on not only solid waste but also on hazardous waste. Then these days without information technology you cannot survive, so we have information technology support, modeling, model softwares which help many of these uh, monitoring and analysis tools. And <coughs> Then we have uh, biotechnology genomics division also, which deals with the biological aspects of many of the environmental issues. Since uh, I have a lecture just after that, so I will cut this introduction short, and I will offer the stage to my dear colleague, Dr. Bothe. I think it is Mr. Okay. So Dr. Bothe, he will speak further on you that any training, basically our aim is six, two days, three days training program cannot make you expert in any area for that matter. We are working in this institute for so many years together, for 32 years now, me and Bode. But we, we cannot become experts of the other fellows' areas. So there are two purposes with the training program, sir, which one is it gives you a general awareness of the kind of activities which is going on in the area of environmental pollution control. And the other one is if you are specifically interested in some pertinent issues which need to be solved, resolved, or for which you need the interaction with an institute. Actually, NIRI basically is a an, is an wing of CPCB. Most of the CPCB projects which come to us for handling, even NGT cases like environmental flow, monitoring, analysis, measurement. So, we are working almost in consonance with CPCB. So if you have some specific issues which need to be resolved through this training program, you will come to know whom to contact, how to contact, how to mingle with that division or the individual so that your specific problems of your region get solved. One suggestion which I have been perpetually giving, because it's not a part of my lecture and I might, might forget it, wherever Pollution Control Board people came for training. I always told them that please do not stop the process of uh, training just after you go back from here. When you reach your place, 
the nearest contribution would be known only when you do something similar in your region. For instance, the biggest technology which is missing these days is human technology. Unless until you create that awareness amongst masses that there is some technique available to combat environmental pollution and you need to go in this particular direction so as to conserve environment, we will not achieve much. For instance, Niri is there, but unless until you come here, you interact with us, you will not be knowing what exactly we are doing. You have come, so you are a very small fragment of Indian population. But the majority of Indian population is actually not aware of what is the problem, what can be the possible solutions, how we, what and how we need to go about those solutions. So if you create this awareness through similar training programs for all groups and excellence of the society, then probably it will be a meaningful exercise. Otherwise, uh, you know, world over training programs are going in, not only in environmental area, in so many areas. And I, God knows where we are finally landing up. I am still uh, not finding a city which has improved in terms of environment and human management also for that matter. So we mooted a concept called environmental health card of district environmental health cards. Every district should have an environmental health card. Like we have our health card, human beings health card, you know, ECG and all that blood pressure is measured, sugar levels are measured, so that reflects of our good or bad health. Similarly, the environmental health card should be generated at the district level. How it helps is basically because you will all be aware that there is a process called environmental impact assessment. So many industries, if they, are, they have to take environmental clearance for the same reason, if you assume, they go and collect the same kind of in information n number of times. So there is redundancy of efforts, there is a extra expenditure unnecessarily invested and uh, time consuming. Once you have the environmental health card, all that is needed in environmental impact assessment is you need to just find out because of this industrial intervention which are the data which are going to shift in what manner, whether in a positive direction or negative direction. So the quantification of impacts would become simpler. You will save money, you will save time, the redundancy would be removed. So, and this cannot be done unless until pollution control boards take the initiative because not no common man can just go and start collecting and that data will not be valid data also, it will not be authenticated. If all the pollution control boards decide that they are going to generate this district environmental health card, I know they don't have limited resources in infrastructure, they will not be able to do it or not. Neri is promising to give every possible effort in this direction. And if you want to utilize your expertise or infrastructure, you are free to do that and we will be happy to render that. So this is my submission to all of you. When you go back after the training program, this speech I should have given actually in the concluding session, but these days I really do not know what is the beginning, where is the beginning, where is the end. So the end becomes the beginning and sometimes beginning becomes end for many events. Okay. So lest I forget, I am giving you this. When you go back, you please work on this direction and contact us, okay, specifically you contact me, any of my colleagues, you are free to do that. So that's the basic aim. Unless until we do this, we will not achieve anywhere. I may have a great technology seated in my house, but if the people around me, they do not know what I possess, then it is of no use. So the awareness technology, which I call is human technology, it's about biotechnology also. Unless until this awareness technology is launched on a high, high, higher pedestal, we will not be able to crack that environment to that. So that's all I wish to say. Now it's for my colleagues to do the rest. Thank you very much.